Hey everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. In this video I will show you step by step how to create your own Coinbase account and I will also show you how to increase your account security to make sure that your crypto won't go anywhere without you knowing about it. So without further ado let's get right into it. The first thing you need to do if you want to create your own Coinbase account is to create or sign up. So what you need to do is to go over to coinbase.com, I will leave the link in the description down below and once you're on their website you need to click on get started. You'll then see this pop up and you will need to fill in your first name, your last name, your email address and your password. Once you've done that you need to click on I certify that I am 18 years of age or older and agree to the user agreements and privacy policy. So once you've clicked that box you can now go ahead and click on create account. You'll then be sent over to a page looking similar to this one and as you guys can see what you need to do now is to verify your email. So you need to go over to your email address, the one you just filled in. You'll then see an email looking similar to this one and all you need to do is to click on the button saying verify email address. Now you'll be sent over to this page and over on this page you need to select your country and fill in your phone number. Once you've done that you can click on send code. You'll then get a 7 figure code sent to your phone number. You'll have to fill in the 7 figure code to prove to Coinbase that the phone number you gave them is actually yours. So the code I received is 84318822 and once you've filled in the 7 digit code you can now go ahead and click on submit. You'll then have to verify your identity. Make sure to fill in the real information because later in the process they will either ask you for your driver license, your passport or your identity card. So please make sure to fill in your real information. And once you've done that you can click on continue. Coinbase will then ask you to fill in how much crypto you do expect to trade per year. And you will also have to fill in the industry you work in. And once you've done that you can again click on submit. And the last thing you need to do to verify your identity is to send them a photo of either your passport, your driver license or your national ID card. And once you've done that you'll be logged into your Coinbase account. And I will now show you how to increase your account security because this is really important. To do this you need to go over to the top right and click on this icon. You'll then see this pop up. And now you want to go ahead and click on settings. You'll then be sent over to a page looking similar to this one. And over on this page you need to go over to security. You'll then see this page and right here you can see that our phone number is indeed set up. But now we also want to enable a two factor authentication. And you can also see that there's a tip from Coinbase saying for better security switch to an authenticator app. This is because hackers can do something called sim switching. Basically they can grab a message sent to your phone, so they can kind of steal your two factor authentication code and by doing so log into your account. That's why I will now show you how to connect the Google Authenticator with Coinbase. So what you need to do is to scroll down over to other options and then click on the select button right next to Authenticator. Now again, you'll get a 7 figure code sent to your phone. You'll then have to fill in your code, for me that's 977-3325. And once you've filled in your two factor authentication code, you can now go ahead and click on confirm. You then see this pop up. And what you need to do now is to go over to your phone and go over to the App Store or Google Play Store and search for the Google Authenticator app. There's actually multiple apps out there to use. You can also use an app called Authy, but because I've already got the Google Authenticator installed on my phone, I'll go over to the App Store and search for the Google Authenticator. Now as you guys can see I indeed have already installed the app so I'll click on open but if you do not have the app installed yet please click on download or install and once it's installed on your phone open up the app. You'll then see this screen and what you need to do is to click on the plus button in the bottom right. You'll then see two options pop up, one with the camera in it and one with a keyboard. I want you to click on the scan QR code button, that's the one with the camera. You'll then need to scan your QR code. So what you need to do is to aim your phone on the QR code shown on your computer screen. So always make sure that your QR code is visible on your computer screen. And as you guys can see, right now Coinbase is imported into the Google Authenticator app. Now there's a few things important to know about this app. Your one time password refreshes every 30 seconds. So you need to make sure that you fill in the code before it refreshes again because if you don't, your code won't be valid. And the last thing you need to do to verify your Google Authenticator app is to fill in the two step verification code, also known as a one time password, generated in the Google Authenticator. For me this code generated in the Google Authenticator is 057065 and once you fill in your two step verification code, you can click on enable. And as you guys can see, 
Coinbase says you've successfully enabled Authenticator. And now that you've secured your account, you might want to watch this video, in which I show you how to deposit Fiat as well as crypto onto your Coinbase account. If you found this video helpful, let me know by leaving a like or subscribing to my channel for more tutorials about cryptocurrencies.